So now let's work with multiple images and layout in Adobe Spark. So in order to work with multiple images, I'm going to go to add right here and I'm going to go into photos. So I'm going to upload a picture right here. So I'm going to go into uh, my tutu folder right here. Let me just go here. And in my folder, I'm going to go into my pictures and let me import an image of my choice. I'm just going to open this out. So the image is being imported and you can see that it has been imported now. And let's say I want to work with multiple images. So what I can do is I can press on add right here. I can press photos and over here, I'm going to uh, search for find free photos right here. So on the find free photos, I'm going to say boats because this is a similar picture. So I'm just going to press enter and it'll give me pictures of boats as you can see right here. So let's say this is another boat that I want to uh, add in. So I'm going to click this and the picture will be added as you can see. So now you can see that there are two pictures in the handle. So I can move this around and you can see that I can adjust. And if I were to click the picture, I can drag the picture around for a particular layout just like that. So I can see a particular section of the picture over here. If I want to change the overall layout, I can also scale and rotate the picture. So I can scale, I can rotate the picture individually as you can see. If I want to uh, work around with the layout settings, I can actually do that as well. So now I'm gonna click here uh, in the blank canvas and over here you can see that there's layout. So I'm just gonna click on that and you can see that I can uh, arrange it top to bottom. So if I were to click on this, you can see this top to bottom now. You click again and it'll shuffle up the pictures right here. If I want to move the picture, I can simply click and drag the picture down and you can see that the picture replaces just like that as well. Let me click here on an empty spot. I can also go for this type of layout, three layouts right here. So one empty space that you see right here or this type of a layout right here. And here, let's say I want to add in something like a text. So I'm going to add a text, for example, and let's say I'm going to add in good morning, which is over here, as you can see right here. So now I can work around more with the layout. So I'm going to go into my layout settings right here. So let me just go over here. Good morning is here. So let me just go on to um, an option, something like three pictures. So there is around two pictures right here, as you can see, and I want this picture to go on the left side. I can also move around according to the layout I want, move around according to the layout I want. I'm going to move the good morning text over here, just like that. So there's the good morning text right there. I also want to change the background, for example, so I can click on this and choose the background color of my choice to give it a vibe of my choice. So in the layout option, I also in the layout option, I also have the border and cell control right here. I can also move content with the layout right here. So I'm going, just going to increase the border and you can see that everything arranges it out just like that. So once I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, unlock this out. So you can see that there's border and cell right here. So I'm going to increase the border size. And here you can see that it actually just affects the border around the edge, just like that. And if I were to work around with the cell, it actually works around with the cell. It just changes the size of the cell right here. So let me increase the border size. And here, if I want to change uh, the color of the border itself, I can click on the border and I can choose a color right here. I can also go over here on change color. I can uh, really select the color of my cho choice just like this as well. I can also increase the cell value and you can see that you can see the same color. Or I can use the same color as I use over here. So let me just click on this and choose this and you can see that the same color has been applied and the borders are there. So that is how you can work with multiple images inside of Adobe Spark and work with different kind of layouts and its options. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.